it's rather late. Everyone else has already retired to their respective rooms. You look rather tired. How about I fix you up a drink and something to eat? Just take a seat. I'll get it right out to you. The usual? You got it. Here you go. So, why were you out so late? Exploring the ruins? But that's so dangerous! Those ruins have killed every adventurer and knight that's ever stepped foot within it. You know what kind of monsters reside in those death traps. Is that why you're wearing that cloak? Are you hiding injuries? Let me see. Don't fight me, just... Your face. It, your eye. It's not no big deal. You'll go blind at this rate. How did you even manage to get back to the inn? Let me go get a healing potion. Here, drink it. No arguing, drink it. There. At least the wound is closing up now. You could have died in there. Just look at what happened. You're bloodied, bruised. It looks like you took a bath in blades. You've always been the reckless sort. Much more so than the rest of the people who come to this town. The village is a popular spot for adventurers. The forest practically spawns monsters each week, and ruins pop up left and right. But no one tries to go after each and every one. No one but you. Why do you always have to put yourself in danger? Are you trying to get yourself killed? If you need money, there are better ways to get it. Like what? Well, you could work at the inn, for example. Father would be more than happy to offer you work. He likes you a lot, after all. Boring. Boring, maybe, but at least it's safe. Every time you leave this inn, I'm stricken with such worry. Will you come back hurt? Will you even come back at all? You only break long enough to slightly recover. Ever since we met, when you saved me from the chimera in the forest, I felt a connection to you. I never had any siblings, so I thought of you as an older sibling. At least, at first. We let you stay in this inn at a discounted price since you saved my life. Since you wouldn't accept a free stay completely. It worked out since you were planning to stay here for a while anyway. But watching you constantly putting your life at risk? I just can't take it anymore. I would apologize for what I did. But I can't really say I'm sorry. This is for your own good. I want you to be safe. To stop putting yourself in danger. What did I do? I see the potion is starting to finally set in. I put a paralysis potion in your drink. And a sleep potion in your food. And don't worry, the magician who sold them to me promised it was safe to mix them. I realized, somewhat recently, that it's not just sibling affection I have for you. I love you. I truly love you as a partner. I know this method is extreme, but we both know you wouldn't listen to me otherwise. You're popular with the other girls in town, but you've never showed any interest in them. 
even the ones prettier than I am. I figured it was unlikely to go my way if I just confessed and asked you to marry me so we could run the inn together while father retires. You love your adventures too much and don't care about me enough to give that life up. So, I'm not giving you an option. I'm running out of time to talk about this for now. We'll have a longer discussion when you wake up. I'm going to take you back to your room and keep you chained in there. Without your weapons, you shouldn't be able to escape. Once you've settled down, I can let you out. But only once you're ready to give up your dangerous work. What was that? Fa- Oh, my father? He won't mind. I already had a discussion with him. In the end, he told me to do what would make me happy. And if anyone comes for you, then... Well, there are some very toxic plants growing out back. I'm willing to hurt others if it means you'll be safe. I'd even become a dark magician if it meant you'd never be in danger again. That's just how much you mean to me. <laughs>